what I really love about the journey channel doesn't matter if you're really good at what you do. Uh, it's about really doing something very simple um, and be able to really engage in something that you're not very comfortable with. And that's what I really like about the Janami Challenge. And uh, I think it can be very inspiring. You're able to do the most very basic challenges that could inspire you to do other things, inspire you to give you confidence. But I think we are... Uh, we spend too much time in our own world. We don't have the human interaction. And I feel like the human interaction, which I've always loved, and I still do, because I'm so dependent on how we connect with each other through facial expression, um, lip reading, and very, very, I think very much we're in our own world, you know, and sometimes I think, sometimes we need to open up a little bit and uh, and to have that kind of engagement with other people that feel that's why it's so important. Coming from experience, uh, Christmas time is quite difficult times especially someone like me who's deaf. And I call it the, uh, the dining table syndrome because there's so many people talking and uh, if you're the only deaf person in the room, then how am I going to engage? So when you come into the journey challenge, after so much interaction, it, and when you've embedded at that within, it gives me something that to look forward to. I think that creativity can be found at any age. Creativity is not just about being able to draw a pretty picture or produce a pretty thing. Creativity is about the process and about how it makes you feel. And I feel that creativity can heal. I will always challenge someone who says I'm not creative uh, because I will say there are so many things we can do. We just need to be encouraged to, I don't know, think differently. Sometimes when I'm being creative, I feel energized. Sometimes I feel frustrated. Sometimes I feel at peace. I have realized as I've aged that my, that creativity for many people is, is, is a meditation. And it's so important to the person I am. And it doesn't have to be that I'm making something. Sometimes it's just about playing. I realized that the process of learning something new and moving little things around my brain, like shifting things around, is sometimes that can open the doorway to something else. So we think, we might think that we're creative at one thing, but actually getting involved in a creative practice can unlock something in your brain that can help you with other things. It can help you to see things differently, maybe see things more clearly. Um, approach your work in a different way, relax you. There are so many benefits. It's amazing. Do it.